What could possibly go wrong when mining activities disturb the geological order of the ground beneath us? Massive holes swallowing the earth. <laughs> These gaping holes are opening up anywhere from remote deserts to populated mining towns. And some nasty ones open up right in the middle of our streets. But it's not just human activity triggering these sinkholes. Some of the holes swallowing the earth are just an act of God. The earth is constantly taking new shapes and sinkholes are leading the way. But whether they are man-made or natural sinkholes, we are yet to see the last of these massive holes swallowing the earth. Number 10. Heavenly Pit, China. Behold! Yeah, I tried. This gaping sinkhole in China is considered to be the world's largest sinkhole, yet it was not discovered until 1994, despite its vast width and depths. It is a massive 626 meter hole nobody could ever miss. At its deepest point, the hole measures 662 meters from the highest point, and the resulting cave formed is estimated to occupy an enormous 6.7 million cubic meters. As if that wasn't tremendous enough, the sinkhole has fascinated many experts and explorers due to its complex series of caves formed below the opening going deep. Its cavernous system makes it look like a series of sinkholes within a massive hole, leading many people to wonder how the sinkhole was created in the first place. Geological experts point out that the formation of the Heavenly Pit, like many similar natural caves, is not a single incident of the ground collapsing. Rather, it's a gradual process that could take as long as 2 million years. The Heavenly Pit is believed to have been carved out by a powerful underground river for millions of years, something that makes many people to then wonder just how it is that the massive sinkhole was only discovered 25 years ago. Number 9. Door to Hell, Turkmenistan This hellish pit in a desert in central Turkmenistan has been on fire for more than four decades. Locals aptly nicknamed the fiery pit Door to Hell, and they fear that its ominous burning flames could create a domino effect that could result in more burning craters opening up in the gas-rich region. The hole, which is about 70 meters wide and 20 meters deep, opened up in 1971, a time when the Republic was still part of the Soviet Union. It is said to have been caused by the collapse of an oil well operated by Soviet geologists, who accidentally drilled into a cavernous pocket of natural gas. Not long after the site collapsed, a number of craters began to open up in the region because the sedimentary rock of the desert was already crumbly and the areas with natural gas pockets couldn't support the ground anymore. While no one was injured when the sinkholes were swallowing the earth in the Karakum Desert, the natural gas which is now found an outlet into the atmosphere would prove disastrous. And so, scientists decided to ignite the crater, hoping to burn away all the dangerous natural gas. Little did they know, they had started a bonfire in the desert that would burn for close to 50 years. Number 8. Gaping Siberian Holes These spectacular holes emerging in northern Siberia look like they were created by aliens, perhaps a meteorite, or possibly some powerful explosive. The mysterious holes were discovered in the summer of 2014 and raised questions as to how they came to be formed. The biggest crater near Monokovo gas field appeared to be surrounded by a pile of loose dirt, leading people from nearby villages to speculate that a government-backed corporation was conducting secret tests for a new tunnel boring machine. But most other people feared it was the end of the world. Luckily, scientists at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, were able to finally figure out how these enormous holes were formed. Their findings were not all good news. They discovered that the thawing of permafrost triggered by global warming was responsible for the massive sinkholes forming around the Yamal Peninsula of Siberia. The Arctic and much of Siberia was warming up twice as fast as the rest of the world, causing permafrost to thaw and subsequently deforming the landscape of the region in epic proportions. Number 7. Dead Sinkholes, Israel there has been an increase in the number of sinkholes opening up along the shores of the Dead Sea over the last few decades, making the desert edge look more like the surface of the moon. Experts cite lowering water levels due to the damming of the Jordan River as a likely cause of the thousands of small sinkholes in the area. People are also alarmed that overmining and erosion in the area might have triggered the increase in sinkholes going down. 
it is not clear how far off the shores of the Dead Sea these sinkholes will start appearing, and when they will appear. Geologists are currently concerned that if the sinkholes continue to open up at their current rate, they may collapse into each other to create a massive sinkhole, which will be difficult to stop. The largest sinkhole is only 40 meters wide and 24 meters deep, but with each new sinkhole that goes down, previously formed holes grow wider and wider. It's only a matter of time before the geologist's worst fear comes true. Number 6. Dean's Blue Hole, Bahamas This underwater sinkhole near Clarence Town on Long Island, Bahamas plunges 202 meters below the water surface, making it one of the deepest known blue holes in the world. The hole is nearly circular at its opening with a diameter of about 35 meters at the widest points. Vertical holes in water bodies like the Dean's Blue Hole are called blue holes because of their characteristic contrast in the color of the light blue shallow waters against the dramatic dark blue deep waters. Dean's Blue Hole, like many other water-filled sinkholes, was formed in some kind of karst process in which a soluble rock such as gypsum or limestone is dissolved over time, causing the weak layers of sand above to collapse and form the underwater sinkhole. Number 5. Cassia Mine Sinkholes in Berezinki, Russia Recent images of this sinkhole in a city in Russia are insane. The giant sinkhole started out as a 20-meter hole in the ground, but has since expanded to more than six times its initial dimension, bringing it to a massive 120-meter wide and 200 meters deep hole swallowing the earth. Berezniki City suffered from a number of sinkholes, gradually swallowing the city since the 1980s. Sinkholes in the area are believed to have been caused by flood erosion occurring in the underground potassium, magnesium, and potash mines. Most sinkholes occur in the city's industrial town, which has an estimated population of 150,000 residents, mostly made up of mine workers for the Urakali Company. Although all the workers were evacuated, the sinkhole keeps growing and has since swallowed a number of homes and property. Number 4. Sharon Springs Sinkhole, Kansas This sinkhole in western Kansas occurred naturally and has puzzled many since it does not result from groundwater depletion, nor gas or oil drilling in the area. The concerned landowner warned people to stay away from the massive hole since nobody could explain what had caused it to open up and nobody could really tell just how dangerous it could get. But keeping away curious onlookers from the area was proved futile. Visitors drove for miles and disregarded warnings to keep off the private property. They would flock the area north of Sharon Springs just to get a glimpse of the then recently formed sinkhole. The sinkhole, estimated to be about 60 to 90 meters wide and 28 meters deep, had a steep face and was certainly a danger for anyone who attempted to get closer to the opening. Geologists pointed out that such kinds of sinkholes are rare and that they would start out with steep cavern faces, but eventually develop into a saucer shape. It would certainly be tragic if the sinkhole suddenly grew while visitors were still in the area. Number 3. Fabian Pitt Sinkhole Sweden. Residents in a local small Arctic town in Sweden called Galavar started experiencing frequent tremors, which would sometimes last up to 45 minutes. Officials were unable to estimate the cause of the loud tremors until March 20, 2012, when a giant sinkhole opened up right before their eyes. Officials then confirmed that the tremors were related to the sinkhole activities occurring in the area. The massive pit was named Fabian Gropen, which translates to Fabian Pit. What started as a fairly large hole in the ground was expanding at an alarming rate and is now a giant 150 meter wide sinkhole that keeps expanding. Mining activities at the Malmen Birgit iron mines are believed to have heightened the collapse. Although no official statements have been released by the mining company, officials from the company are constantly seen taking new pictures of the sinkhole. And while the final breakthrough leading to the actual collapse was a peaceful event with no injuries or casualties reported, residents are annoyed by the frequent tremors and are worried that the worst is yet to come. Now it's time for today's best pick. In today's best pick, we have this picture sent to us by a subscriber just like you. You can see just how terrifying the city chasm looks. It's impossible to see the bottom from this image. Apparently, this is not the first bottomless sinkhole to open up in the capital of Guatemala. Let's find out more. Number 2. Guatemala City Sinkhole, 
Guatemala. Gaping right through the entire intersection of a neighborhood junction in Guatemala City, the massive sinkhole looks like something out of a disaster film. Some people even dismissed the arresting images of the giant city sinkhole that went viral after the accident of 2010, claiming that it must have been photoshopped. But the images are real, staggering as they may seem. In May of 2010, a burst sewer or storm drain together with the heavy rains of the tropical storm Agatha hollowed out an eroded underground cavern sitting right below a neighborhood in the capital city of Guatemala. This resulted in a bottomless sinkhole opening up right in the middle of one of the city's intersections. Three years ago, 2007, another sinkhole had swallowed dozens of homes in a different residential area in Guatemala City. Three people died. Geologists and experts point out that rains and flooding may have triggered the formation of the sinkholes, but it is human activity and ignorance that created the right conditions. Poorly designed and overloaded sewage systems underpinned by poor zoning regulations and building codes have been cited to be triggers, causing enormous sinkholes in the streets of the capital. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number one. Bayou Corn Sinkhole, Louisiana. It's now close to a decade since the Bayou Corn Sinkhole appeared, but it is still one of the biggest ongoing industrial disasters in the United States. What happened in Bayou Corn started out as an investigation by Assumption Parish officials into the unusual torrent of bubbles reported to be rising near a pipeline crossing. The emergency management team couldn't fully understand the cause of the bubbling since they had already ruled out swamp gas as well as confirmed that it wasn't natural gas from a leaking pipeline. Not long afterwards, the area around the swamp experienced increased earthquake activity, which began to tremble everything in the swamp. And then, the swamp sunk, swallowing the swamp life and whole trees as it disappeared into the ground. The resulting sinkhole, which initially spanned about an acre, grew tremendously and covered more than 35 acres over a short time. It is estimated to be well over 200 meters deep. It was later established that one of the salt dome caverns hollowed out by Texas brine had collapsed and triggered sinkhole activities in the Bayou Corn Swamp. The biggest danger of all was the crude oil spilled into what remained of the swamp coupled with a massive leak of explosive natural gas that turned the once beautiful wetlands into a hellish place in Northern Assumption Parish, Louisiana. You made it to the end of the video, but hey, we'd love to see you again. If you click the subscribe and bell buttons, we'll always notify you when a fantastic video just like this one comes up. We have a lot more that you will enjoy.